Right, yeah. So I'm moving along pretty well. And I just thought you would love to have a bit of a gander at this because it's been a while since I've, uh, I've, I've seen this. Uh, this is obviously a double hung sash window with a lead weight and cord. Now, what they used to do back in the day to service them, if you have a look here, we've gotten a spliced bit of timber. And same with here, same thing, right? So what would happen now, like this here, as a decent fair example, this used to happen a lot where the cord would get stuck, it would fray and suddenly you can't open and close your window because you haven't got the appropriate weight hooked up. So what they used to do to make life easier is uh, rather, because otherwise you could just imagine, yeah, you'd have to rip the uh, architrave off, you'd have to cut the plaster back and then you've got plaster repair work, architrave to get repaired back and paint to go on. Where this way, all you'd have to do is remove this section. And if you have a look, there it is just there. So whoever was coming through to repair this, all they would have to do is bang a nail in and have a look at that. It's been repaired before. Bang a nail in there, pull it out. And I'm obviously not gonna show you this. Um, yeah, bang a nail in, pull it out, and that way they can get to the lead weight and the cord and then re restring it pop it back together and they've just got minor repair work just from this. So I just uh, love seeing this type of thing where people actually think about how they're gonna do something. And also you might find interesting, right? It's only cut in halfway. So this external part is fixed and they've only just checked this section out of the same bit of timber. So it's got some structure behind it. Cause you could imagine if you cut that straight the way through, you've suddenly got a window that someone can smash in here and pop out. And um, yeah, I just thought if anybody uh, wanted to have a gander at that, I just love, the, it's half the reason why I love doing renos. You just don't know what you're gonna find, who's been there previously.